Now, this is my Betty Lee house, if you've lost track. And the bathroom here has got quite a little bit of, it had some like um, um, adhesive on there. I removed a lot of adhesive. There's a little bit of graphic gloss here. And some of these are just dark spots. I am going to touch this up with a little bit of cream colored paint and maybe a little bit of that teal paint too. But ultimately, since this is a small floor and the floor on my uh, Anna Mae house looks really good. I will probably overlay this with um, a, a copy of the floor from that house. But I am going to go ahead and touch it up some just to see how it goes. dear friends I think I'm done painting this I may go back and do a little bit more but I am really pleased with how that came out so other than sealing that with Mod Podge or something I think we're going to call that good I don't think I'm going to need to overlay that floor I am just in love with it it turned out so nice all right the next thing we're going to do on this floor is this and I'm going to start it's this corner over here that's the issue and it's a little bit rusty and I'll start by sanding that down so that when you touch it, it feels, you won't be able to feel that raised. Um, it's like almost a corrosion type of rust on there. Um, so I will sand that down. Then I will wipe that with rubbing alcohol. Then we've got this little elephant motif in here that I'm probably going to lose. I mean, he's already partially gone. Let me tell you what we're going to do with that. Okay, here's my other house. This is my Annie Mae house and this is my Betty Lee house. And this has that little elephant graphic intact. So I have traced around that with my parchment paper. I've got that drawn on there, that little elephant. And then I'm going to cut him out. And after I get this sanded and then wipe down, and then I'll paint the whole thing blue, I think. And then I will draw, cut that out, draw that little elephant on there Ooh. in the right size and position and then paint him back white again. That's my plan to restore that little elephant there. Otherwise, this floor needs a few little dots of paint here and there, um, and then it's gonna be in good shape. All right, let's work on that. I've got the nursery done also. I'm going to tell you how I did this. Um, I had sanded that down and wiped it off. I showed you that. Then I took my little template and his face was still on here. So I just cut my template out. I left the face drawn on there. I didn't cut around it, but I cut around his legs. Then I laid him down. I lined up the face on here with the face on here. So I got the right position, lined him up just like that. And then I took my uh, green or teal paint and painted around him so that you could see the shape of him underneath. When I lifted that off, you could see the shape and I filled that in with white. And then I went back and made the accent lines on there. His little feet have got little pink toes and I used the... Um, my Annie Mae house in order to know exactly what he is supposed to look like. So here's my Annie Mae house and here's my little replica elephant that I copied off of that one and traced onto that one and painted him on there. So I am very happy. This room I'm going to call it done although again I might go back and seal that. We're going to do a little bit of work on the walls and then I think we're going to be about done painting. Okay this is the worst wall between the two houses and it's got some missing paint here and a little bit down here this is pretty smooth to the touch so I don't think I'll do any sanding um, and then it's got a little paint loss up here so we're going to work on this wall and then there's one floor I forgot on the main floor that we're going to work on too and then I think we'll be done 
with our painting. Now this is from the Betty Lee house. I'm going to start by doing a little fill in with just a green sharpie and just see what that does and then uh, I'll get to work painting on it. was excellent dear friends the only spot that's left is there's a little bit here that didn't blend in but everything else blended in and then I added I just went over the rest of this that didn't have any paint issues with that same green marker to add a little bit of that same brightness so but it matches very very well that was quick and easy let me work on this spot and then we'll hit some of these other areas Hey dear friends, I think I am done with this wall and I am pretty happy with it. The green was very easy to do, filled in quickly. The white, it took a couple of coats. Just a reminder, a lot of times it would take more than one coat and you can color correct as you go. The yellow I struggled with and the original part I did, I wiped it all off with a damp towel and did it again and used a little bit of a different shade of yellow and a little bit less paint. So it looks good. I filled in some of the little bit details here that were faded. I fixed these um, tiles down here that were gone and I used a new technique that I've not done before today, although I thought about it. Um, I had painted the tiles, filled them in with the, the white color or cream color, and then I just used a lead pencil to redraw those grout lines. So this wall is done and it looks pretty darn good considering especially how it started. Now I may still seal that with Mod Podge. I'm not for sure exactly what I'm going to do, but this wall is done. I've got one more floor to do. I think this is the last piece that I'm going to do on camera. The other piece I am going to do off camera is I'm going to um, put some blue paint on this bathroom wall where there's some missing paint up here. I'm just going to touch that in with um, some light blue paint, see if I can get that to match pretty well. Otherwise, this bathroom's in pretty good shape. So I think that's all we're going to do to it. And the rest of the walls are in good shape. But this floor has some issues, and I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. Uh, first, you'll see me sand this because it is rough to the touch. It's got a little bit of that corrosion on it. I'll sand a little bit here. I'll sand a little bit down into this corner. 
um, probably maybe even a little bit there. But when I sand, I didn't talk about this before, but I try to focus only on those areas that are rough. If you sand out here, you will remove the graphics, which will give you more that you will have to fix. So I'm going to try to, I just keep my, I just poke my finger really hard right there with my sandpaper. You'll see me just use one finger and I'll, that will focus that sanding in that area. Then I'll wipe it off with rubbing alcohol. Then I'll fill it in probably with light green and then I'll come back and try to replicate that pattern. That's why I want to show you this on camera so that you can have some confidence that you can actually replicate these floors. Now if I get done and I hate it, I've got other alternatives. I could take a picture of this and print it out and just do a part of it and cut in just part of it like this up to the scrolly part and just replace a little bit of it. I could also take a picture. This is my Betty Lee house. I could take a picture of the good floor that's in my anime house and I could re I could replace that whole thing with a um, just an overlay that's identical to this if I want to. So I, there's no, no harm in me trying to fix it because I've got alternatives. Um, I could even make this a solid green if I wanted to, but I'm going to try to replicate that pattern. So let's see how it goes. got that base coat of green on there. I ended up wiping off what I had. I needed that color to be a little more muted than I had it. So I had to mix a little bit of um, a little bit of brown in there so it wasn't quite such a light green. I've also touched up a few little spots out here that were either scratched or or dark. I've put a few little dots out there. But we're ready now to put some detail on here. So the first thing we're going to do, and you, I don't know if you can tell, but on these light areas there's some little like little green dots, little green specks. So I'm going to fill those in and then I'm going to try to replace those um, swirly lines over here. And then I think we'll be good. So here's where we are so far. I have got that background light green, a color I like. I put some of those little green like polka dots or spots on there um, and then I have mimicked that scroll work. I've just drawn it on with this bright green so far. So I'm going to attempt to shade it with some a little bit of a darker green and this is just almost some black outlining it. So I'm going to try to get these little scrolls to mark but we're to match what's out here but I think we're getting pretty close. <music> Okay, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I've got it done. I was able to replicate that scroll work and even some shadowing in there. Um, and it's a, even a little hard to tell where I touched up. And it's not that really that I'm that good or that talented. It's that it's really all, not all that hard to do. I wasn't sure how this was going to come out, but I am very, very pleased with it. I've got a few little spots on this house I'm still going to touch up, including that bathroom. Um, and then I'm going to go over both houses and make sure they're just right paint-wise. And then we're going to be done with painting. <music> 